Good morning, Green Thumbs. We are back with a, another rescue mission. I just finished filming my Pelia split and propagation video. If you want to see that, I'll include it up here. You can check that out. So this morning, we need to rescue my Mona Lao Hoya. She, I know, I have a good idea what went wrong. Um, since moving to the boyfriend's house, I put it on the plant shelf with all of my other plants and I, I'm fairly certain she's not receiving enough light. Um, because of that, I've had some stems back here in the back die off. What I need to do is get her repotted. I'm gonna downsize her pot probably down to a four inch and just save whatever stems I can save out of here. Give her some fresh soil, obviously. Um, and get her right in a window so that I can recover this plant. If I lose this plant, I'll be absolutely devastated. <laughs> so it's not an option for me. So we're going to break it apart, check out the roots, get her into fresh soil, and go from there. But before we get into this plant, I need another cup of coffee. Okay, fresh coffee. Let's see what's going on with this girl. Still got my box of soil here. I haven't dumped it yet into the compost bin from the Pelia. From the Pelia repot. So let's see what's happening. Let's go from this direction. The roots are dry, which is no big deal. I haven't watered it for a couple weeks. So that doesn't really concern me any. As long as I don't see a bunch of rot and damage, I'm okay with dry roots. This plant's gonna look a lot bigger and fuller in a smaller four inch pot than it did in this, um, I, think, I guess it's a eight inch, I think is what I had it in. These roots, like look at that, that still looks really good and healthy. So I'm not gonna lose this plant, but I think we probably caught the problem just in time. Too much soil and water for that little bit of roots. Salvage that window screen out of that pot. So here I've got a freshly cleaned four inch pot to try to get all these roots in. Uh, I think they'll make it, it's just gonna be a full pot. So I've got a fresh batch of soil here ready to go. Um, I've really been working on my soil mixture. I found my other Hoya Aroid mix um, still does really well, but I think it was drying out maybe a little bit too fast, faster than I would like at least here in Drew's house in these conditions. So I started adding sphagnum moss and I've been adding coconut fiber uh, material and this helps to retain moisture just a little bit more. So other than that, it's all the same stuff. It's got the orchid bark, the coarse perlite, um, and the Fox Farm soil and earthworm castings and uh, charcoal in the mix. So I'll attach all those things down below if you're interested in trying out any of those items. I'm actually gonna trim this a little bit. It's a little too large. It's, I love using window screen. Keeps the soil in, but it allows the extra water to flow straight through. are like notorious. 
Chris for not liking to be repotted, but I felt like we didn't have much of a choice here. You see, I'm really trying to get all these excess roots stuffed into this little four inch pot. As long as we can get it all covered with soil, we'll be okay. Don't want to lose any more of these vines. she'll have a speedy recovery. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.